flat frames. Nobody likes to take them, but we have to, to get great images. Today, we are gonna make a DIY homemade LED fl uh, flat frame panel. My name's Trevor, and you're watching Astro Pilot. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So welcome back everybody to the channel. It's been cloudy for two weeks straight and as you can see it's still cloudy. So this is a great time to uh, do any kind of work on your astrophotography gear or rig and I come up with a project, a DIY flat frame panel, um, light panel to take flat frames with. Um, I got the idea from Amy's Astro YouTube channel on YouTube. Um, great video, she did a great job designing this little uh, homemade flat panel so I got the idea from her um, but I have not been able to use my ASI 2600 MC Pro yet I did purchase a uh, Optolong L Pro filter I'll feature that here in a little bit as well and uh, yeah it's been cloudy so I'm hoping for some clear skies soon let's head inside and start making this homemade LED flat frame panel all right everybody so we're here in my room at the desk um, these are the supplies that you will need to make the flat frame panel so the most important piece is this uh, five inch round led light panel i bought this from a website called illumiglow.com um, i got it on sale for about 40 bucks it comes with the light panel and the uh, frosted plexiglass um, piece to go over it to flatten the field of light. And um, this runs off of a nine volt battery uh, controller box. So I'll grab that real quick. And here's the controller. So you just plug that in there and it has a brightness uh, level and it can flash and do solid light, which that's what we'll be using it for. Um, but great little kit, illumiglow.com. Um, highly recommend it because it's a great little light panel and it's literally the same thing as like a Pegasus Astro um, flat panel, which costs like 200 bucks. So, um, but the housing of this thing is the most important piece um, to put it over your telescope. So I use this six inch wide drainage grate piece that I got from Lowe's for like five bucks. It's just a green composite plastic. And I dremeled a hole here to thread the wire here and mount the battery box on top. Um, so this is the main piece of the flat panel. This holds the uh, light and plexiglass in. And to hold it in properly, I bought one of these uh, wood sewing rings um, for a, a tension clamp to fit inside to hold everything in. I just uh, cut the ends off of it to uh, size it properly where it'll fit inside. And to finish it up, I just cut some pieces of this uh, packing foam, this nice and soft like neoprene uh, packing foam to uh, pad it uh, to go around the telescope. So let's go ahead and st get started with the build of this thing. So um, after watching Amy's Astro video, this is a really easy build. And uh, so we have all the supplies. So we are going to, first of all, show you how this flat uh, light works here. So you just plug it into the controller, just like that and you turn it on and it starts out flashing so we'll turn it over to solid and I'll turn the brightness up and there we go and it does create like a humming sound for uh, 
supplying power. So it has like a little, of a, little bit of a frequency hum for power. But that's the light. We'll go ahead and turn it off. And we'll go ahead and start assembling this thing. So first I'm gonna run this cable through the hole that I cut out just like that. And we're gonna take our piece of frosted plexiglass and unpeel it. I haven't done this yet. There we go, and the purpose of this uh, frosted piece of acrylic here is to give the light a total flat frame. So in this case, I, I won't have to use a white t-shirt uh, method anymore to do flat frames. All I have to do is set this thing on top of the telescope, take the flat frames, be done. Makes it really easy. So we're gonna check this, make sure there's no uh, pattern within that plexiglass to have a Total flat frame looks good. So we are gonna set that down in there just like that. So there we have it in there. And next we're gonna take our sewing ring here that I cut out and just fit it in there just like that. Have it nice and tight to hold everything in. If I can get it over this little gap here. There we go. All right, so we have the piece of plastic and the light set in there nicely. And the wood is holding it in tightly and it is fit well. So I cut these two pieces of foam out to surround the uh, area just to give it some padding against the telescope. I don't want that hard plastic and a uh, piece of wood in there, just rub it against the telescope or anything when I set it on there. So I am just going to probably hot glue this in there, just like that, and be done with it. Um, so that is pretty much it. So I'm going to flip that over, and later on I will probably just Velcro the control box to the top, and we'll show you how it's uh, connected here. So we're going to turn it on. And there we go. That is our homemade flat panel. And um, this should work perfectly for flat frames now. I'll just make sure I have that piece of plastic clean before I use it and that's it. This will fit any like 60 millimeter, 80 millimeter, probably all the way up to 90 or 100 millimeter. Um, yeah, it should work with a 100 millimeter telescope, possibly, um, but definitely a 90 millimeter at the largest. And uh, this will work great for my Xenostar 61 to take flat frames with. So yeah, super easy DIY project for astrophotography flat frames. This makes it much easier to do than uh, the white t-shirt method or uh, daytime flats with the uh, dawn sky. So um, all in all, this cost me uh, around 
60 bucks total, if that. So turn it off there. So yeah, everybody, hope you enjoyed this uh, little DIY flat frame project. Um, great time to start, uh, since it's cloudy outside, it's a great time to work on little things like this and get stuff done where you can perfect your imaging process when it really counts. So yeah, this is a cool little, cool little design. So uh, thank you again, Amy's Astro for uh, putting this idea out on YouTube. Um, totally copied your design. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, works great. So everybody, hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial on how to make a homemade uh, flat frame light panel for taking flat frames for astrophotography. Hopefully the skies will clear soon and I'll have a new video out for you with the new camera and gear and all that stuff. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching Astro Pilot and clear skies.